Higher prices and empty store shelves may be the Grinch this holiday season as supply chain issues continue to plague consumers. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. Kirsten has the night off. The days of struggling to find toilet paper like we experienced at the start of the pandemic may be returning and spreading to food, toys and other popular items this time of year. News Ace Regina on explains how the perfect storm of factors is leading to major supply chain concerns. If you've walked down the grocery aisle or maybe even the mall, you'll notice less items on the shelves and prices a bit higher. An expert I spoke with says unfortunately many things are contributing to the short supply and high demand. Number one, there's some problems internationally. Uh, due to the pandemic. Uh, countries like India and China are affected by the pandemic. That's where a lot of production occurs. Alan Jin is an economic professor at the University of San Diego. He says the labor market right now is in turmoil. In 2020, uh, an extra 2 million people retired compared to what was projected. So a lot of people left, left the job market and then uh, people also le uh, quitting jobs. He says a shortage from logistic company workers to truckers have halted the supply chain, and you're seeing that in higher prices at grocery stores. And many shoppers have noticed a change. Everything just seems to be a dollar to two dollars higher. It just is all this creep has just happened and it's very expensive. According to new figures released by the Labor Department, wholesale inflation jumped more than 8% from August of this year compared to August of 2020. That's the biggest gain on record since the department started tracking it more than a decade ago. From vegetables to fruit and more than ever, meat prices have been soaring. Meat prices are up almost 9% compared to, compared to last year. Jin says you want to be prepared as many stores are already announcing huge shortages, especially over the holiday season. Some retailers are expecting that there's going to be shortages as far as products are concerned. For, for example, Nike has already said that, that they're not going to have enough shoes. Experts say these price increases will last for another year or two. Jin's advice, if you have to go Christmas shopping, go a bit early this year.